Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Man, you guys have been killing it. I appreciate all the love and the support uh, in my previous video. I actually have two videos um, for Vampire Blood Hunt. Uh, you guys are seeing the uh, gameplay reveal in the background here that we had yesterday. I wanted to make this video to kind of um, provide a little bit more information. There's a lot of confusion. A lot of people think that this game was supposed to be something else and uh a lot of folks from the vampire the master raid uh community probably aren't used to battle royales or uh battle royale community members aren't used to vampire the masquerade so i kind of figured i just put this video out there again i'm not super well versed in the um you know the vampire uh the masquerade the world of darkness um community but i do have information that can probably be very helpful to people who are just absolutely coming in blind and uh if it's something that you guys find helpful in the information helpful here uh for folks that don't know anything about the universe or the battle royale genre then uh by all means feel free to share it it is greatly appreciated if you do if you find these videos helpful please drop a like and sub to the channel um again let's start off so about seven or eight months ago this game was teased it wasn't very much information. Shark Mob just had a brief teaser. We all knew it was going to be a battle royale, uh, but no gameplay. Other than that, there was no other information at all whatsoever. We had no idea what was going on other than that quick teaser. Fast forward to uh, yesterday, we get this reveal, this gameplay reveal. And we get to see a lot of things happening here. Uh, we get to see the, uh, the players, which in this case it is, uh, traversing through the through the map, uh, not only through the streets, but on top of the buildings. Uh, and they've already mentioned that uh, the map is kind of, uh, you know, very layered uh, as far as combat goes. You can utilize the, the height, um, the streets. There's a lot of place to hide as well. So, um, and we can also get from this trailer uh, the powers like you're seeing, uh, these uh, jumps, these uh, dashes, these teleports. Um, these uh, shade step or shadow step if you want to call it uh, and I think there's going to be a lot of skill gap utilizing these abilities um, but again before we even get into the game let's kind of give you guys a breakdown of what uh, Vampire the Masquerade and the World of Darkness is so if you guys don't know this this is so the World of Darkness the, the Vampire the Masquerade this is this has been out longer than some of you have been alive. Uh, so it, it was originally a tabletop game uh, released in 1991. I'll post the, the wiki in the description as well. And I'll post uh, all these links for you guys. But it was originally a tabletop game released in 91. Uh, White Wolf was the publishing uh, company behind it. Um, and after it was released there was a lot of games released as well the first game i played i think was vampire the masquerade redemption if i'm not mistaken there's there's a lot of games that were released uh for this franchise um so definitely take a look at that i think the most recent ones might might have been bloodlines um yeah it looks like bloodlines was the most recent one there was definitely definitely a lot released for this for this franchise all together so definitely 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 look it up it's very rich in lore uh there's a lot of um there's there's plenty of vampire clans uh each of them having different powers different personalities uh definitely something that you're not required to know i guess to play the game but it's always good to kind of brush up on the lore and the history of the you know kind of the world that you're going to be playing in so highly advise you to go check out the wiki and just look up Vampire the Masquerade uh, lore in general. Like I said, there's a lot of cool uh, vampire clans. Um, and then maybe you can find one that kind of fits uh, your personal uh, style. Um, they probably won't all necessarily be in the game. I know that so far we've gotten three, two classes for each clan, which is the Toreador, uh, Bruja, and the Nosferatu. Each of them with their unique abilities and skills. Uh, but who knows down the line maybe we might get some so definitely brush up on your vampire uh, clan lore there and uh, another thing that I definitely want to bring to your attention is the um, this is from the shark mob website itself so a couple of questions that a lot of people probably have 
Um, and let's start off with the basic uh, question. So what is Blood Hunt? What is this game? So Blood Hunt is a third person free to play battle royale game set in Vampire the Masquerade universe. You will battle players and AI enemies as you fight to become the last vampire standing in the old town of Prague. So there's a lot of info there right off the bat. There's enemy AI. So you're not just fighting other players in this. Um, looks like there's actually enemy AIs on the map in the lobby that uh, you will you will face. We haven't gotten much information as to who or what they are, but uh, definitely not just fighting players. So that's actually really, really great. Um, again, there's a lot of uh, bullet points here and questions. I'm only going over the ones that I found very important. I will list this uh, link in the description as well. Is this really a Vampire the Masquerade game? What about the Masquerade? So the Masquerade is basically, uh, read up on the lore. It's basically how they keep themselves out of sight and all that other good stuff. And the answer that the devs provide is yes it is and the masquerade is a very important aspect of it as it should be the entire match session revolves around killing all anarchs to restore the masquerade the masquerade also functions as an important game mechanic where revealing your true nature to the civilians trapped within the lockdown area will expose your location to enemies so that's definitely good info right there for the game you can't just go around you know smacking people smacking the civilians and uh you know snacking on their blood and whatnot and and expect to not uh have repercussions right you're gonna get seen your your location is gonna be revealed so when does the game release so blood hunt will launch 2021 no official date reveal yet uh how much will it cost so this is a free-to-play uh game um there will be in-game cosmetics uh for you to purchase as there should be you guys know me i'm a huge whale when it comes to these games and just buying exclusive cosmetics and whatnot um but there will not be any pay to win forget progression mechanics so that's great uh what game modes will uh be available in the game so it will launch with a solo and a three player squad battle royale mode so that's awesome you don't have two other friends to play with run solo um what's the uh total amount of players in one game we had this question yesterday and the total is 45 players uh what uh when can i play test the game so like i mentioned in the previous video as well the closed alpha is going to be july 2nd to july 4th um there it's not unlimited amount of players they're, they mentioned that there's going to be a certain amount of players that will be selected for this so if you guys want to give it a try definitely sign up for the um closed alpha as soon as possible uh will there be more opportunities to play before lunch um those who are unable to participate in our first closed alpha may have another opportunity in the near future if you sign up to our newsletter we'll keep you posted okay so that's kind of up in the air but it is what it is what languages can i get support in so we have german french spanish italian polish russian brazilian portuguese let's go uh chinese simplified korean and japanese all right so there you guys have it there the supported languages for the game uh let's see can i play with my friends so only random groups are supported in the closed alpha but you can still invite your steam friends in preparation for when the party system is enabled so great info right there as well when the game uh when we get the closed alpha you won't be able to party up with your friends uh you'll just be put into random uh squads if you play the three player squad so uh, unfortunately it is what it is but great info right there uh what are the benefits of joining the closed alpha play test we get this in game communities all the time people want to know am i going to get anything for a, a alpha tester or whatever the case may be and um as of right now you will get a special profile icon and player card so with, that's really cool that'll show that you're a alpha player um when the game you know further down the line when the game launches and whatnot so will the progress i'm making the close alpha play test be carried over to the final game no all progress will be wiped so also great news nobody's actually going to have an advantage because they played the alpha other than just kind of trying out the mechanics of the game at its current state so great info which countries can participate in the blood hunt close alpha so there's no restrictions you can actually play uh anywhere but the servers are in usa uh eu and asia so um that's uh that's great info there for you guys uh if you're not in those regions uh just expect high ping uh what are the minimum pc specs uh here they go right here i'm, I'm not gonna list them or read them off to you again i'm gonna post the link in the description so you guys can check that and then can i use a game controller to play because i know there's a lot of folks who are strictly console players but might actually have a pc that can run this 
you can plug your controller in but like they mentioned uh controller support is in its early stage so you can use your controller but it is it is uh still in its early stage uh so again um hopefully this was a uh, breakdown for you guys of some very important info uh again if you're not familiar with the world of darkness with the vampire the masquerade and uh, the franchise and all the lore please uh check that out um you know look at i i would recommend starting with the vampire clans first uh my personal opinion and just kind of getting to know what they are what they do who they are um it, 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 it'll it'll kind of be a stepping uh, stone for you there uh, by checking out the clans itself and it might pull you in depending on the clan that you kind of attach yourself to and um, yeah man I'm just hyped for the game uh, I, I plan on bringing a lot more of these videos to you guys here on the channel if you guys are interested in Vampire the Masquerade and Blood Hunt definitely stay tuned definitely hit that like button definitely sub to the channel it is all very much appreciated um, any questions you guys have Please post them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them as best I can. As I mentioned, I'm not fully versed in the lore, but I can try to bring you as much information as I can. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, be in touch, guys, man. Hopefully be bringing you a lot more information in the near future and hopefully be part of that closed alpha. All right, you guys have a great one. Take care of yourselves. Peace out, y'all.